Welcome to Part 70 of My Report on the McCarrick Report by Patrick Parson. Today we start on Chapter 22 of the McCarrick Report, titled, and get ready for this, OEC Decision Making and McCarrick's Activity Following Pope Benedict XVI's Trip to the United States and Prefect Ray's June 14, 2008 letter to McCarrick, mid-2008 to early-2009. A chapter with a 28-word title is bound to be significant, right? Especially since the chapter is itself 65 pages long. The opening says this section addresses Cardinal Ray's written indications to Cardinal McCarrick in June 2008, as well as events preceding and following the giving of the indications. I myself am not sure how much weight an indication carries as opposed to instruction or directive. Chapter 22 is broken into three parts. Part A, Richard Sipes' open letter to Pope Benedict XVI, Archbishop Vigano's memorandum, and Nuzio Sambi's report, April to May 2008. Part B, Cardinal Ray's written indications to McCarrick, June to August 2008. And Part C, McCarrick's responses to the written indications and related Holy See decision-making, August 2008 to June of 2009. Starting Part A, Richard Sykes' open letter to Pope Benedict XVI, Archbishop Vigano's memorandum, and Nuncio Sambi's report, we see during Pope Benedict's trip to the United States that Cardinal McCarrick concelebrated a Mass with he and eight other Cardinal concelebrants at St. Patrick's Cathedral in April of 2008. McCarrick also attended a dinner with the Holy Father in New York. McCarrick asked permission to attend the Pope's remembrance and prayer at the World Trade Center site, but that request was declined for unknown reasons. Not long after the Pope left the United States, psychotherapist and former Benedictine monk Richard Seip published an open letter on the Internet titled Statement for Pope Benedict XVI about the pattern of the sexual abuse crisis in the United States. This was in late April 2008. In the letter, Sipe asserted that sexual aberration in the Catholic Church was generated from the sexual behaviors of superiors and bishops and cardinals. Sipe also used McCarrick as one example saying a number of seminarians came to him with concerns about McCarrick's behavior while Bishop of Matuchin. He mentioned the two priests and one former priest, who journalist Matt Abbott had featured in 2005 and 2006. Seip also claimed to know the names of four priests who had had sexual encounters with McCarrick. This public letter did not receive much mainstream coverage. But that did not mean the church hierarchy was not aware of it. Officials in the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith sent a copy to Secretary of State Cardinal Berton, who suggested there were two hypotheses, either not respond or report to the Apostolic Nuncio confidentially. Monsignor Georg Gantzspein, 
prelate to His Holiness Benedict XVI, wrote on the envelope, Return to Cardinal Bertone in a reserved manner. And I'm not sure exactly what was meant by that. On May 8, 2008, Cardinal Ray wrote about the letter to Nuncio Sambi, asking him to closely follow the McCarrick case and to let him know if he should repeat the indications he gave in October 2006. The indications being, if you remember, for McCarrick to move out of the seminary and to lead a reserved life of prayer. And if you will also recall, the indications did not seem to have been paid much attention by anyone. Indications, indications. According to one dictionary, an indication is a sign of a condition or something that is going, likely going to happen. What indications do we have regarding our condition after we die? Let us ask for a positive prognosis by praying Our Lady's Fatima Prayer. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy.